solving multi-step equations. Well, the first thing we're going to remember is that the equal sign is what divides the two sides of the problem, the left side and the right side of the equal sign. Now, problem number one here, we've got to get this n alone. The first thing we're going to do is get rid of that plus 5 by subtracting 5 from both sides both sides of the equation, both sides of the pink line that I drew. Those are gone. That leaves us just with 3n equals 6 minus 5 is 1. Now we want to get that n by itself. We've got to get rid of the 3, which is multiplied by the n. The opposite of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3. So if we divide both sides by 3, that gives us n equals 1 third. And fractions are perfectly good numbers, and there's your answer. Now looking at the next problem, number two, once again, the equal sign is what divides the problem into the left side and the right side. We also want to remember that minus 6a, whether you choose to show it explicitly or not, is the same as plus a negative 6a. That is a negative 6. And we're going to have to keep track of that and do that part later. But for now, we want to get rid of this 11 by subtracting 11 from both sides. That's gone. This is negative 6a. Add the opposite, negative 33. Now, in order to get rid of that negative 6, which is multiplied, we divide both sides by negative 6. If we do that, those cancel, leaving us with just an a on the right side. A negative divided by a negative is a positive, so it's 33 over 6. But 33 over 6 reduces. It reduces by 3. 3 goes into 6 2 times. 3 goes into 33, 11. So that would mean a is equal to 11 over 2, or if you chose to write that as an improper fraction, as a mixed number, I'm sorry, 2 goes into 11 five times with one left over. So a is equal to 5 and a half or 11 over 2. Now the third problem we're going to look at here is a bit more complicated. You'll notice that we do have like terms. Let me draw that in. We have like terms, which we can combine. And we've got an equal zero there. It turns out that that's what most people find the most confusing. But that's not our first step. Remembering that this is the same as negative 1m, n, we combine those. That gives us 21n plus negative 1n is 20n plus 5 equals 0. Now that zero shouldn't be confusing. This is what we have to do. We have to get rid of that five. So we're going to subtract five from both sides. Those are gone. Leaves us with 20n equals negative five. Now we want to get this n alone. We've got to get rid of the multiplication by 20. The opposite of multiplying by 20 is dividing by 20. Those cancel. That leaves us with n equals negative 5 over 20. But that reduces. 5 goes into 5 once. 5 goes into 20 four times. I didn't cancel that negative. It's negative 1 fourth. And that turns out to be our answer. n equals negative 1 fourth. And there you go. And the last problem we're going to do today is very similar to number three. Once again, it's the equal sign that divides the problem into two sides, left side and right side. Now we have like terms, which we can combine. 3x plus 2x is 5x minus 7 equals 9. That first step makes it into a much, much easier problem. Now we have to add 7 to both sides. 
those are gone. 5x equals 16. Now I want to get rid of that 5, so the x will be alone. Divide by 5. That means that x equals 16 over 5, which is a perfectly acceptable improper fraction. It is reduced, but if you'd prefer to make that a mixed number, or there's some other reason that you'd need to, you could realize that 5 goes into 16 three times. 3 times 5 is 15. One left over, 3 and 1 fifth. And there you go.